guys, I am Harry Potter YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel and Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Why, does, why is it every time I sit in the chair someone's bloody potched with it? Oh, that's better. So Happy New Year, welcome to 2024! How has the last couple of days been for you? It's been crazy in the world, hasn't it? I can't believe the craziness from that humongous earthquake in Japan. And I'm sorry, as obviously the first thing I thought of was the loss of lives and the amount of people that have been made homeless because of it. But then the second thought I thought of was, oh my God, what about the Wizarding World in Tokyo? It's just opened. Um, and it, I hoped everybody was okay, obviously. It's an absolute tra travesty. It's it's a disaster. It's awful. And then obviously that plane crash as well um, that was taking aid to the people that are, that were, um, need help in obviously in uh, Japan as well. So it just seems like loads has happened, massive flooding. We've had a huge storm here, but we're okay. We're fine. The only thing we noticed was the Wi-Fi went a little bit jittery. We were fine where we were, where we are. Nothing else happened, so we've been okay. But my heart does go out to everybody else out there. So the first part of 2024 has been a bit crazy. However, I have been really, really lucky with the amount of stuff that I've received in the post. And what I had for Christmas, so I'm not gonna go through everything I had for Christmas because a lot of it's private. And I do like the fact that, you know, that it's, it's a really big thing for me. And, and I've had a lovely Christmas. I've been absolutely spoilt rotten. But I have had, I don't know if I've shown you, but Adam finally bought me an eternity ring blessing for our 10 year wedding anniversary so how stunning is that it's not diamond it is Swarovski I am more of a Swarovski fan than a diamond fan and then he bought me the King Viserys's crown Pandora ring from Game of Thrones how stunning is that so I have been absolutely sport rotten for Christmas I have had so many presents I also had some fantastic presents off Janice and Natalie as well I've also got a present that I haven't opened yet that I'm doing on camera for you guys so I'll do it now so as you know my amazing buddy Sean Valentine of Valentine's Village I'm trying to get in a good position here right yeah um popped over the other day and brought this gorgeously wrapped present with him so I said I would do it on camera because it's so, look how stunning that is look at it look at it how stunning is that so thank you very much Sean for dropping this off for me um it's a nice weight and it's quite solid so I'm not quite sure what it is but I'm going to open it so if you hear scratches it's because the dickhead youngest cat is out the front is out there somewhere trying to get in I did ask if she wanted to come in but she hasn't wanted to actually come through the door so it's her own fault if she's going to whinge how on earth do I undo this? I've taken all my gels off my nails because I'm leaving them grow a little bit long because they're quite brittle at the moment Sean sure, I'm going to have to cut this I can't undo the knot, I'm so sorry so, oh my god, you wrapped this well, bloody hell okay, so you guys are going to see first, alright so I'm going to I can see Ravenclaw Apparently there's an amazing new shop in uh, in the indoor market in Swansea that he got this from. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh my god, it's the Raven Claw! I've had my nemesis now! Ah! Jesus, that thing's massive! Oh my god, where's my glasses? <sighs> oh wow. Let's open it. That is so Stunning. Thank you so much. I'll have to message him afterwards. Oh. Oh my god. That is the plumbing. That's amazing. They do a fantastic job of these don't they and they are fully usable as well so with these obviously don't put it in the dishwasher this actually comes out so you can wash this in the dishwasher wash it separately and then just pop it back in the cup if anything falls on the cup you can just wipe it down with a cloth my god that is absolutely beautiful look at that how stunning is that That is absolutely incredible. I don't have any of these cups other than the, I've got the Death Eater ones, which obviously as you guys know about the Death Eater one is massive, it's huge. And I've got the, the goblet as well. That is absolutely stunning. I'll have to find somewhere to put it now to display that. That is gorgeous. 
Okay, so I've had loads in the post since I last filmed, because obviously I batch filmed my videos before Christmas, so I'd have a little bit of, a, of, of time off, which I didn't because I'm still working technically with my other job, but I still enjoyed myself. Christmas was literally over like that, wasn't it? Blink and you missed it. It was freaking gone. It was like, woke up, did dinner, went to see the family, opened loads of presents. I was sports so rotten this year. And then next thing you know, it's Boxing Day. Anyone else feel like that? Like, blink, and it's gone. That's how it was. Come on. Yeah, stop rubbing yourself and just get in. Quick, 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 quick. Watch your tail. Good girl. There we are. She's in. <sighs> but yeah, it was absolutely insane. So I've had... This parcel was the last thing I received from Insight Editions. I had no idea I was getting it. It turned up on my door one day, uh, just before Christmas. It is a Monster Book of Monsters display box with a book inside so i haven't opened it yet so obviously i've taken it out of the, of the of the box it arrived in but i haven't actually taken it out i was waiting to do a video on it first so oh polystyrene oh it's taped together so i should be able to take it straight out like that yep there we are and then where's my life there's oh no didn't realize that was there <laughs> so that's the book that goes inside <laughs> and then I thought something had broken god honestly my heart's going nuts right so we know which way is which so you could see that couldn't you and you could probably just yelling at the screen say Victoria's gonna fall well guess what it fell so how did you guys get on with your Christmas did you have any Harry Potter items in your Christmas stocking was Santa good to you or did you just have coal because you were really naughty in 2023 I'm surprised I didn't have coal actually because you know kind of expected of me at my age naughty 40 is it naughty 40s they call it you're gonna pester to go back out again you've just come in yep there we are i'm done okay so i'm gonna open it this way maybe i don't know so what we got what we got okay so we've got a little oh god that's really bloody hell that's heavy plaque and then we have a, a little oh so it's not it's not actually a book inside the box it's just a display piece okay so i thought that would be bigger but i'm not complaining the detail on that is amazing i don't know how much these are i will put the link down below for you obviously but it is insight editions so right so does that does that go on the back of there does it oh there we are and then that aha right so that goes oh my god look at that how cool is that i think it's resin that is amazing if the camera starts jittering it's because the cat is rubbing herself against it all right against the frame look at that that's fantastic it's actually better than i thought it was that is absolutely amazing oh my god i love that the monster book of monsters the detail on this thing is amazing that is absolutely incredible i wonder if this is like a series they're gonna do that's so cool i love that look at the gums and everything it looks amazing that is absolutely outstanding i love that again i will put the link down below for you so the book you get with the monster book of monsters is uh, from the films of harry potter magical creatures a movie companion includes fantastic beasts and where to find them so i have got the normal size of this which is quite big uh, it's quite a big book by insight editions but it's this is obviously a very small version of the book but it has so much in here. It has different pieces about different magical creatures. Obviously, you've got the artwork in there as well. You've got care of magical creatures. It's got like little pieces. So it's quite a nice little, you know, sit down and read in an afternoon sort of book, you know. So you've got little bits there as well. It is a very, very nice book. But the, I don't know if it's the same or if it's slightly less in this one than it is on the other one, on the original book. But it is still a really, really lovely book, to say the least. They are, Insight Editions are so good at doing these books. 
So obviously you've got things there about forks as well. So it is a lovely book, but this is a very nice kind of little paper book companion type thing. But I can tell you now, I don't know how much it is, I'll have to look it up, but that Monster Book of Monsters is absolutely epic to say the least. I've had a couple of things in the post as you've seen, but I don't know if you can actually see there my Demi guys. I finally got Demi guys from Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> it was not cheap. I can tell you that now. It was not cheap. But he's the only one that I found that lights up. So he's very light, but he's been 3D printed. But he's the only one I've ever seen that lights up. The other ones are like glow in the dark. And I didn't want a glow in the dark one. I wanted one that actually lit up. And he is just absolutely perfect. So he arrived literally like half an hour ago. So he's already up. I also finally got Gilderoy Lockhart's wand as well. So I was very happy about this when it finally became available. They were thinking it would be in the new year. But it wasn't. It was available before Christmas. So I did buy it. I will put the link down below as well. So it's in an Ollivander's box. We've got... It's a very long wand. It is an incredibly long wand to be sure. The velvet is beautiful in this. It's very royal. But this is Gilderoy Lockhart's wand. So I will, as I said, put the link down below for you. Again, it's an incredibly long wand. So it's one of the longest I've ever seen, to be fair. So that is absolutely stunning. I love the detail of it, the scroll detail at the top. I also bought, because I've already got one, a Hogshead jug, which I bought from, I bought from my friend Kelly, because she was selling some of her collection off quite a few years ago. And I cracked the glass in it, stupidly. I cracked the glass in it a few years back. And I bought a new jug then to, so we could actually have a nice like non-cracked one uh, for Christmas because we do use it. It's literally a tiny little crack it is, but it's obviously, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to get bigger with time. And so I bought a new jug from Orlando, Florida, obviously because you can buy them online. And it arrived and the top of the... The, the actual head part of the jug won't fit on the glass when you try and put it on it sounds like the glass is trying to crack it's that tight so I messaged them thinking oh my god you know what's going to happen are they going to say it's my fault I don't know they're normally pretty good but I didn't know what it would be like obviously I messaged them over Christmas I took loads of photographs I showed them that it didn't fit there's a piece of rubber that's cut like that's on the outside that shouldn't be there compared to my other one my other one doesn't have it and so I, I thought maybe that would have been the problem I sent them an email and my god bless them but uh it was it yesterday or the day before was it the first of January I had an email from them to say that's absolutely no problem we will send you a replacement jug straight away so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw away the glass piece of the one that's broken, the one that I cracked a while ago, swap that with the new one that's coming, take obviously the head that won't fit, put that back in the box and just keep it safe. And then I've got two brand new jugs then. So obviously that means I've got a head of a jug that I can't really use, but I would rather, I'd rather keep it. I don't want to throw it because I can't, I really struggle to throw stuff away when it comes to Harry Potter, like really hard, you know, it's like something's falling apart there was a piece that I dropped on the floor years ago it was a, a like a, it was released in 99 or 2000 it was a game it was but it was ceramic beautiful anyway dropped it on the floor right it fell off the radiator years and years and years ago and uh, smashed so I put a little bit together and there were pieces like Ron's head had come off you know it was like proper like you know the door didn't open anymore it was just completely dead and I only got rid of it a few years ago. I literally broke my heart. I had to throw it in the, in the, in the bin without looking because <laughs> I couldn't do it. But I knew I couldn't keep it because it was wrecked beyond repair, you know. But yeah, that's what I'm like. I'm really crap anyway right so i've done a good 17 minutes of talking obviously a lot of that will be cut out by the time i finish this video today is about obviously my stuff i've had in the post christmas presents and so on but it's about the take me home box from lit joy now i'm going to be completely honest with you some person i don't know who because i didn't see the name put the contents of the box on instagram without a warning of spoiler you know when you're going up your wall and it just pops up and there's nothing you can do about it it's there 
I've got to be honest, I was really disappointed. So I've been very nervous about opening this box. So I haven't had any add-ons because I got this, they released so many boxes uh, after because there were some that people obviously didn't have them or, or they cancelled their subscription or whatever. So I managed to get one of those boxes. And I always said I was going to do an unboxing of it. So it did arrive, I think, the week before Christmas. I am very nervous about opening it because what I saw online was very disappointing. And I just hope that when I open the box, I'm going to be surprised and think, no, no, it's actually much better than I thought it was. So this is the, bo the box. It arrived damaged. Um, it's a lovely great hole in the cardboard there. And there's a sticker on the front, which again, it's, you know, it can't be helped. But um, the box itself is quite cute. There's some lovely artwork. That one's a nice piece. That's one of my favourite film, favourite scenes in the films anyway, when Harry sat on the, the window in his dormitory looking out the first night that he's in um, Hogwarts. Obviously, you've got Mrs Weasley there as well. I can't show you the underneath because my address is on it. But we're going to get into it. So, oh, let's open it. But it has come damaged. So let's have a look to see what happens with this box. So this is the last Wizarding World, Wizarding themed box that they are going to do ever. So I think it's something to do with Warner Brothers, um, obviously licensing, which is fair enough. It's their baby. So it looks like we've got a black, oh, I like that blanket. Right, so we'll open this. There's not much in it. It's quite scarce. But that's probably because they're encouraging people to get the blank the blankets, no. Encouraging people to get the add-ons, which obviously I didn't get. I'm still a lunicorn. I think I've got about $59. Actually, no, I've got more than that now. About $65 to spend on their in their shop. So um, I will have to have a good look and hopefully the add-ons will be released because some of the add-ons were really lovely. But it was a case of people were complaining. Um, they did try and change it up towards the end but I still got really annoyed with it and I just cancelled my subscription. Towards the end of it, they were creating amazing add-ons and then the box itself was boring. So you could buy the add-ons later on. There was nothing wrong with that. You know, you could actually get them later on. But you could but it was annoying other people because they paid for the subscription and you should be able to get some really nice items in the box. And I can totally and utterly understand that because it annoyed me as well. Then they changed it up so you had some amazing items in the actual box rather than the add-ons. So I don't know what this is gonna be like. We're gonna have to see. Obviously I know one of the main, I remember one of the items in it and I did think it was nice, but I wasn't going, oh my God, I have to have that, you know? And I haven't had that with many items in subscription boxes. The last item that I was over the moon about was the Hogshead Jug Creamer Jug. Freaking loved that. It was on my Christmas table this Christmas and you can see those pictures on my Instagram. This looks like a, almost like a patchwork. Okay, let's have a look. Patchwork quilty type thing. It's a very small fleece blanket. <sighs> so if we can go back a little bit more. So that's, that's the blanket. So what have we got? Yeah, it's like little buttons. It's got the burrow. It's got the Weasley clock. So it's almost like somebody's created it. You've got Prefect, Order, the Phoenix, Brave at Heart. Obviously, that's Sir Gryffindor. It's quite hard to look at when you're... So it's like a little patchwork quilt that someone's created. Brave at Heart, Prefect. You've got Quidditch. You've got a G there. I assume that means for George or Ginny. You got H for Harry. I'm not sure what that is. You got Egypt, obviously up there because they did go to Egypt in um, Ch Chamber of Secrets. They've got a dragon for Char, a C for Charlie with a dragon because obviously he works with dragons. That's really nice, actually. I like that idea. You got M. Is that for Molly with the knitting ne knitting needles? Arthur. I think that's a car. That's an A, so it's for Danglia Arthur. Then you got a B for Bill. F for Fleur. Oh, I love that. you got a little bow baton badge as well. I like that. Then we've got a, a, an R for Ron. Well, wow. a oh, Hermione. And you've got Quidditch. You've got a P for Percy. F for Fred. Ginny. George. That's actually a very nice fleece blanket. It would be nicer to have it a little bit bigger. But that is really, really, really lovely. That is actually a very nice idea. I love that. That's really pretty. I, I need to properly lay it out to have a proper look at it because it's quite hard to do when you're literally trying to squeeze it all in. 
Okay, so I'm putting that to one side. So the next item is a groundskeeper hut mug. So it's a mug. I mean, it's a mug. I'm never excited about mugs anymore, other than that one that I've had off Sean, because that is wicked. But I'm never excited about mugs. I just find them, oh, not another one, you know. Okay. Let's have a look. A lot of the stuff I get from LitJoy is actually still in its boxes. The boxes above my Disney shelves is all my LitJoy boxes apart from one, which I need to find space to put up. Uh, no, two, sorry, tell a lie. But there's literally all LitJoy boxes above. So this one will go up there and then after this and I'll probably keep everything in it. It's more like a soap bowl because I do like using mugs as soap but a so soap oh my god it's more like a soup bowl I don't know what do you think it's quite a big it's not a very easy mug to hold it is more like a soup bowl to be fair you know like tomato soup on those cold 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 nights I'm not too fussed on that that just seems like they've just thrown it together sort of thing. It's not just me that thinks this way, is it? I mean, it can't just be me thinking like this. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I just haven't been wowed. That Don't get me wrong, that blanket was lovely. That's a really lovely blanket. I have no idea where I will put it, but it is a really lovely blanket. But it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like... I'm not excited by the stuff I get from them anymore. So this is a cardboard box. It's an incredibly light cardboard box. It's a cracker, just because I can tell from the top. I have got another one over there, which I've never used. Right, so I will never, ever use this one. It's quite heavy, mind. Whatever's in it is heavy. So it's quite pretty, but it's not like, oh my God, it's amazing. It's really pretty. It's really stunning, blah, 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 blah. I don't, I'm not like, wow, I'm overjoyed. God, I feel like I'm such a killjoy today. But I'm just being honest with you guys, you know. Their stuff just isn't doing anything for me anymore, which is why I cancelled my subscription. But this is the last box. And the reason why I wanted this one, one, because it was the last one they were ever doing. But two, when they did that last box for, they did the seven books and they did the last box um, for the seventh book, right? This is a few years ago now. And the box was incredible. I didn't get it. However, I went and I sought some of the items on eBay and I did pay a fair price for them too. You know, so I did really, really want to get this one because I saw that one and thought, oh, it's going to be something similar, but it looks like it's not. So we have another Groundkeeper's Hut mug. There's one, two, three, four, five items in this box. That's it. Okay, that is actually very nice. Now that it's all together, that is actually very, very nice. That's something that I haven't seen before. I do like that. Well done. That is very lovely. However, that is two of the five, five items. That's it. Again, I think that they were trying to get you to buy all the add-ons, which if I had had the subscription, then I would have got it. But I cancelled my subscription because I was so disappointed with their boxes. But that is nice. I do like that. I do like that. That is really lovely. I will have to display that. And I do like my little teapots with lids and stuff. Right, so we've got one more item. I already know what this is because I saw it in the photo. Again, it's 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 nice. But again, I, I'm not like, I'm not, oh my God. I've just got to figure out where I'm going to put it on my shelf now because I've it, I have got a shelf for it. So this is an orb. So it's a crystal ball with the three characters holding up their three ones and this obviously glows. So I'm gonna take it out for you and show you. And it says ones up. So this is actually quite fitting. I won't mention it now because it's a bit it's a bit depressing. However, please, 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 everybody watch the end of this video, okay? There is a special message in my video. So this is very suitable. So it says ones up. That is really lovely to be fair. And it does change colour, but obviously you can't really tell in this light because I've got the spotlight on. That is really, really nice. But again, it's not like, oh my God, I have to have it, you know. So I've put that on my shelf, on my, uh, Order, the, my Order of the Phoenix, no, my Prophecy shelf up there. 
so it's literally just there. So getting quite a few little orbies for that shelf now. So we've also got a, that's quite nice, a take me home bookmark as well. So that's pretty nice, but I don't use them. I know it's very much about books with uh, Lit Joy. So that's very pretty. We have the Take Me Home artwork as well. And then I assume this is the Wizards Checklist. So this is the Wizards Checklist. That is absolutely stunning. I do love the way they do these Wizards Checklists. At the back, we have a proclamation. Lit Joy launched the magical subscription because we deeply desired to create something solid and tangible from a fictional world we fell in love with. The magical subscription was the first place that stretched our creativity outside of what everyone was doing and really let our origin uh, originality, cleverness and cheekiness shine. This reading community has always been about sharing our passion for books and the emotions and lessons we've learned from them. Reading is a solitary and enchanting experience and creating these crates was a way to unite us in our shared experiences. It was magical in itself to create it items and have our customers understand exactly what those items meant or represented. Watching our customers open magical crates and seeing them laugh and cry over the same products that we laughed and cried over while creating has been incredible and unifying. At LitJoy, we will never say goodbye to all things magical, but the time has come to step away from the magical subscriptions. This last crate, Take Me Home, is our love letter to the magic of a well-loved series, characters and experiences. We are celebrating moments full of laughter, the shared grief at losing favourite characters and the longing for the place that feels like home. We hope as you open each item, you will feel the love we have for our home away from home. On to the next adventure, Alex, Kelly and the Litjoy team. It is really sad that it's come to an end, but their boxes just for me wasn't screaming, you know, $120 per every few months. And when I first started getting their subscription boxes, money wasn't so bad back then. Money isn't bad now, but obviously, as you know, uh, over time, I've obviously struggled. I was buying all of the items to show people. And even though I was showing people, I wasn't getting excited about certain items. And then they did, I was so excited. I, had, I We knew a year in advance that they were doing the Death Eater box, the Dark Mark box. I was literally itching for every single day to hurry up and go by so we could get that box. And then when it arrived, I was really disappointed. I was bitterly disappointed in fact. There were so many things that they could have done better with that box and they didn't. So it was devastating for me when that box arrived and it was just, I think I had maybe two items from the box and I've put them on display, the rest has gone back in the box again. So for me, I it, it, it takes a lot for me to get excited about something these days. But I, after listening to a lot of you, you were feeling the same way and you know the wizard in trunk seems to be the number one at the moment and it's doing really really well i actually have the latest box um right here where is it there it is uh, but i can't open it yet so that'll be next week's box um or on the weekend i don't know maybe on the weekend i might do two bo two videos this week i don't know but yeah it's very um it's very disheartening when you get so excited about something and then when it arrives, it's a real disappointment. And yet every single box before that, other than a couple, the Weasley Wizard Weasley, uh, the Weasley Wizard Weasley, the Weasley box I didn't like. I found it, I don't know why I'm looking up there, the shelf's been changed, that was the Weasley shelf. Um, but it's been, it's been changed, it, it's been changed, oh my God. It was just, it's really disappointing. I was really disappointed by it. And uh, I was hoping for better and unfortunately it didn't happen. I think I've just got such high expectations of boxes these days and I really shouldn't because I'm just gonna disappoint myself, if that makes sense. So this is the proclamation. This is the wizard checklist. I do really like this, this is so cool. Castle metal bookmark. Divination's key. I haven't had divination's key. Oh, or is that a, an add-on? I think that's an add-on. I'll have to have a look. 
groundskeeper mug, Christmas cracker, magical pro uh, magical patchwork blanket. I did really like that. Themed art print, wand up crystal ball, a magical robe shop key. Right, okay, I'm going to have to have a look. I think they're add-ons, but yeah, divinations. I haven't had any keys. So that but that is really really beautiful that's actually worthy of framing and putting up that's really nice i do really like that that's beautiful so i'd love to know your thoughts on their last subscription box ever um as in wizarding world one i'd really love to know what your thoughts are on this because i'm 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 kind of torn i'm glad i got it i'm not regretting that in any way shape or form I love the blanket. I really enjoyed the mug. Where's the mug gone? The mug is really beautiful with the lid. I have enjoyed that. That is definitely a soup mug if ever I saw one. And I do really, really like the crystal ball. Um, so there were three winners in this. The cracker wasn't fussed on. I'm not going to open it, obviously. Let me see if it says on in here what the cracker holds. Oh, it doesn't say what's inside. Just says sharing memorable treats inside. It doesn't say what's in it, but I'm not opening it because it'll ruin it. I've still got one, um, the one from, uh, is it the Wizarding Trunk from last year? I've still got that. It's up, up there in a box. I haven't opened it. I don't open them. I've still got the one from Maria. She did one there, which I created, which she created, and I've never opened it. I just love looking at them. I think they're beautiful. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on what you thought of this box and my other things because obviously I've had lovely items in the post. I said I've been spoilt rotten. I really have been spoilt rotten. So let me know your thoughts. Until next time, Happy New Year to all and I will speak to you very soon. Remember to stay magical. Love you guys. Bye. Check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.